All right, guys, Kaz and Kelly here, and as you know, we are on vacation. Most of you may know that we've been gone for a while, but uh, Kelly and I are hanging out here in Frankfurt, Traverse City area, having a great time. We took about five days off, and uh, how's it been so far, babe? It's been great. Yeah? Yeah. Having a lot of fun? Yeah. This is Kelly's first time up in this part of the state of Michigan, and it's it's just absolutely amazing. The scenery is just, it's beautiful, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. What was your favorite part so far, do you think? Oh, there's too many. I don't know, there's too many. There's just a lot, of, a lot of cool stuff up here. We've been, we've been fishing, we've been wine tasting, we've been sightseeing, we've been having so much fun just hanging out and just doing such cool stuff. And now, for the first time ever, someone's going to have an inside look at Casworth Wild, and that's going to be Kelly. Because we are near Frankfurt, which is where Casworth Wild is held each and every year. And it is July, as you know, and Casworth Wild is in September each and every year. So Kelly is going to get an inside look at Casworth Wild, the first and only person to see inside Casworth Wild. Come on, let's go. You ready? I'm ready. Let's go. So as you know, Casper's Wild takes place inside the forest here, and we are always, you know, roughly about a mile or so in. And we are obviously walking on the two track. But what's really cool about Casper's Wild is that we do it totally off grid. And uh, that is an excellent opportunity for people to train and get taught and teach if you want to teach. As you know, we always promote community at Casper's Wild. We always promote teaching at Casworth Wild from other people, not just me. I'm not the end-all, be-all as far as teaching goes. And, uh, you see, lots of people having lots of fun. So let's go look at Casworth Wild where season one, two, three, and four took place, which is right here. All right, guys, so this is what is left of season one, two, and three, and four. And back here, what a one had his tent a few years back. And this is the area in which we did the canning of the salmon. Um, I've had my tent back there before. When John Bullenball and his wife were here, they had their tent way back there. And then also in some of my earlier seasons, you can see when I jump out and say, good morning, YouTube. My tent was right here in this area. And that's where it was all set up. And this is the tree that had my water pur purification system set up. And some of these trees are, are now missing. But um, for the most part, this is what we're looking at as far as Casarus Wild Season 1, 2, 3, and 4. And what do you think, babe? Pretty cool. Yeah, you like it? Yeah. Awesome. So I'm going to show you right over here in this area, right in this area, right over here. Actually, it's back here just a little bit. Right in this, this area right here where it's kind of dug up. This is where we did the survival oven where we cooked the chicken. And so there's, I mean, obviously you can't tell. It was That was, you know, five years ago when we did that. But um, this is approximately about where it was. And we did some great teaching out here. And hopefully one year we'll get we'll get Kelly out here. Maybe. Maybe. I'm thinking so. We'll see. We'll see. She's doing great. Um, she's definitely learned a lot. She's loves shooting guns, loves being out in the forest, loves camping. Definitely loves camping. Absolutely. So let's move on. All right, guys, Kaz and Kelly here. We're back, and we've been busting through the woods, as you can tell. Let's take a, take a look around behind us. As you can see, we are in the forest, and uh, we are off the two-track now, and we are actually in the forest all the way around, and we have actually come across the um, remnants of Season 5 and Season 6 for Kaz vs. Wild, and we're going to turn the camera around, and we're going to show you that right now. 
All right, guys, so Kelly and I have been walking through the woods, and we've actually come across the Casper's Wild Camp Season 5 and Season 6. And this is where I built a table here, as you can see. This is where I did the Mossberg gun review, and I did the Ruger 1022 takedown versus the AR-7, both 22 long rifles. Um, both of those videos were shot on this table back when I did that. And as you can see, as I pan over and go over to the, where the camp used to be, which is right there, we're going to walk over there, and Kelly and I are going to uh, take a look. So, ready, babe? Yep. So we're just busting through the woods on this great day and looking for remnants of Casverse Wild out here in the forest. And uh, we definitely have it here, so... We are coming from the back side of camp as opposed to the front of the camp because we're in the forest. Um, over here, obviously, was some kind of apparatus that we built. I do believe that might have been a table at one point in time. Um, this one right here was a table at one point in time. You can see it on the ground. There are uh, some cross members there. This was a seat that Ryan built. This seat he constructed during Season 5. Um, this cross member right there, that was the community center that we set up. I don't remember if that was season five or season six. Uh, I'm not sure. That was a table there, right there as well. I'm going into the camp and looking back at camp. Uh, in this area right here, this is where my shelter was. And that area over there is where Ryan's shelter was. That was another seat. Right there that we built, another seat, still standing. Um, I'm sure Kelly can sit down on that. And uh, lift your legs up, babe. Woo! <laughs> hey, that's not bad, but you know what? That seat there is three years old, and uh, it's really cool. It's still holding... Holding up, doing real well. Kelly's feet are off the ground. That's awesome. What do you think, babe? It's pretty cool. You like it? Yeah. This here's the fire pit. And obviously we got a deflector shield because it was deflecting heat back towards our shelters at night. And um, this is just really, really awesome to come back and reminisce. Kelly's swatting bugs away. <laughs> But, um, you know, one big thing over here, this was the chicken coop. If you remember, it's still standing. And this is where we had the chickens. And where we roasted the chickens and all that. So, for you guys, you know, this it really makes it real. It really makes it seem like we're really out here doing hardcore bushcraft survival practice. And I know that... Um, it's just kind of interesting to see it firsthand, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's uh, kind of amazing. And obviously, you know, the, the fire pit, again, is right there. And that's where we, after, after we harvested the chickens, that's, that's where we, we cooked them and we ate them. And so if you remember this, this big log right here that goes across, there was a big, big oil tarp behind here. And that was the um, the community center, if you folks remember watching that video. And all links will be below to all related videos. But it's just um, it's just amazing out here, isn't it? It really is, yeah. It's just it's just there's nothing like it. It's just so if there was one thing I could say about Casper's Wild is that you got to come out. You've got to learn how to practice this stuff because in a stuff hits the fan situation, you know, you're going to have to learn how to actually just live off of what you have. The everyday modern conveniences are going to be gone. And you don't know how long they're going to be, go going to be gone for. I mean, granted, it could be a couple days, few days, a week. But what if it's not? What, what if it's a Hurricane Katrina event or a Hurricane Sandy event? where people are literally fighting over food, water, shelter, things like that. I know uh, when Kelly's thought about things like this, it's definitely crossed her mind about disaster preparedness. You know, Kelly's got her bug out bag now. 
And anything else you want to add, babe? Um, I don't think right now. It's just wonderful being out here? Yeah, it is really super cool. So we're going to uh, stop videotaping this, but, you know, it's amazing. This was season five and season six, so this stuff has been here for almost three years now. And still, it's rock solid. It, it's, it's awesome. And, and this is why we practice. This is why we teach, why we learn. You know, because you're going to need to know this stuff. It's, it's going to be important at some, at some point. So guys, as you remember, this is where the, the community center was and, um, you know, solid state construction, just totally bushcraft, held up by rope and trees. This has been here for almost three years now and I just want to show you how solid this is. This is like rock solid. This doesn't even budge. It doesn't even budge. Wow. That's how solid. This is, these are the bushcraft projects that we make. And we can teach you this out here. Casper Swallow. Solid state. This stuff don't move. This stuff is great, great quality. Great handmade quality. And this is what we teach at Casper Wild. All right, guys, Kelly and I have been out in the woods all day. We've been uh, screwing around and checking out Casverse Wild, and this is Casverse Wild Season 7. As you can see, there's the chair that, that Denny built right there. We got Old Glory, the American flag, still here. And uh, this is where we had Season 7. It's really cool, and uh, it's a beautiful day. So, Kelly, what do you think so far? What do you think? I'm thoroughly impressed. So do you think if somebody with no experience came out to learn, do you think they'd be okay? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And what do you say about the structure of the uh, the chairs and the benches and the, the solid-state construction of the project that we put together? I am very impressed by how sturdy it is. And so just to show you how sturdy things are, let's go show you a, a project that I worked on last year that uh, is a workbench area. So I, I already showed this to Kelly. And we're going to walk over here, and I'm just going to demonstrate to you basically what this is, and that this is our chopping area. And essentially what we do is we have an anvil-type piece right here, okay? And we nest out a peg hole so you can stick a branch in there. And then if you want to do some chopping on this, we have a support branch here that's go, that goes into the ground. So if you have a hatchet or an axe and you want to chop some wood to maybe make some tinder or something, you can do that. And this piece can go right on there. And as you can see, there's a yellow rope right here which goes to this piece here which acts as a V vise, like an angle vise. And the reason that is for there is... It locks these pieces right in. Now, the advantage of this is that I have another piece to it just like that. Exact same thing. I'm just going to throw this branch in here. Okay, and that holds it perfect. It's completely off the ground. And now let's say you wanted to use your saw and you wanted to cut some branches. You can just hang it off the edge, two, three feet, whatever you want. Take your saw and just saw up your piece because that's locked right in place. And again, this is all bushcraft. Only thing that's used is maybe some paracord, but nothing else. Everything is, as you can see, there's some paracord right there and some regular rope, but nothing else. There's no, there's no hardware here. It's all hand design. It's all thought out. And uh, got the bench here. Why don't you go try that bench? See, uh, why don't you stand on the bench like I did the other one, and let's show them how strong this is. This bench is again solid state. Nothing's gonna ha happen to it. Look at that. There's no bow in the middle. There's nothing. 
That is perfect. Perfect, perfect. Solid state, solid projects. And this is this is what we teach out here. So Kelly already said she's impressed. Yeah, definitely. So come on out, guys. Here we have some apparatus left of a meal that we cooked over the fire. This was our fire pit here. And over there was where I had my hammock hanging from tree to tree. Back there, Dennis had his tent back there. Um, we take this trail back over to the right and then to the left. The, the bathroom's over there. And then Anthony had his tent way back there. But this is what we do out here in the forest. We teach, we train, learn how to live off grid. It's just amazing. Guys, has got to come out for Casper's Wild Season 8. All information will be below the video, like I said earlier. Any closing thoughts, babe? Just come on out and learn some stuff. Can't wait to get you out here, babe. Maybe next year. Yeah. Maybe Season 9, huh? Yeah, maybe. Season 10 for sure? Oh, for sure. Excellent.